What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing home the bacon. NFL DFS video. We are breaking down the main slate of Week 10. So if you haven't been with us in one of these videos, it's a little bit longer, but I'll have uh, I'll put out uh, chapters for you, and hopefully we're able to help you out. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go over some things, look at the games that have the highest over-unders. We're also going to look at our matchup tool, and we're going to use SaberSim. I do not have a promo code for them. I do not have a referral code. I'm just using them, and I'll kind of show you uh, some of the projections from our website and how to input them into that, run the simulations, and then see what lineups that it likes for the main slate. Now, if you caught yet last week's video, hopefully you did very well. We did very well with sports betting, and I even use what we talk about here, and I played the free content over on Yahoo. They have a like a, a weekly NFL contest, 65,000 people. I got first place by myself. Uh, it scored 200-something. I didn't even use SaberSim. I used all the information we talked about. We took first place down, $0 entry, $150 for the win, so that was pretty awesome. Um, on top of that, we've already done stacks videos for this week. We've already done a breakdown um, as you can see on the screen right here, fantasyteamadvisors.com, uh, the rankings videos, the ranking articles and video are already live. So I will link all of that at the end of this video. So that being said, we have a giveaway. If you've never been here before, we have a giveaway every single video, two technically. First way, like the video, be a subscriber, and leave a comment. Anyone watching this video, if you leave any sort of comment, preferably a positive comment, but any comment at all, and this video gets at least 50 likes, you will have a chance to win a free week of FTA+. Plus. That's every single sport that we offer. That's every sport current right now. Uh, t today or Sundays is the very last day of NASCAR until February something. Um, it'll include a week of NBA, NFL, PGA, MMA. If this video gets 100 likes, you have a chance at a free month of FTA+. Plus. 150 likes, a chance at a free $200 a year. 200 or more likes on this video, a chance at a lifetime pass. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. The second way, somewhere in this video, I will say a keyword out loud. All you got to do is listen for it, type it in, and have a chance to win a free week on top of it. So technically, you could win twice if you are chosen. So last week, we had a thousand, what was it? A thousand, 23 views. 58 likes and only 12 comments. So you have, if you left a comment on last week's video, you have a 1 in 12 chance to win. I, with all those likes and all those views, I, you got to leave a comment to try and win. It's free content, guys. So we're going to roll it, and this is the winner. No one put the keyword either. So the winner is PGA Daily. Congratulations. Once you see this, email me, dfshelp1 at gmail.com. Let me know you are the uh, NFL weekly winner, and, then I, and tell me your username on the website, and I will get you set up for that free week. Now, all you gotta do, stick around, listen, hopefully learn something. So, our sponsor, as always, outlier.bet. If you have not checked them out yet, the link is to sign up is down below in the description. Check them out, get a seven day free trial, whether or not you're playing NBA, NFL, whatever sport, soccer, NHL, college basketball, college football, they've got it there. What I like to do is use the insights, go to games, and go to NFL and then look at the current games that we have on the main slate. So that's what we're going to do first and check them out. If you use our code and sign up, go through seven days and go through the, the regular package, we're going to give you a free month if you use our link. If you use our link and you go through seven days and do their pro package, we're going to give you three months free, which is a $90 value. So the games for the main slate go from Pittsburgh to Washington all the way to Philly at Dallas. Now I've already filmed and I'm going to put out the um, the Sunday night showdown or the breakdown video and the lineups that we built there. Uh, FanDuel does have the breakdown there uh, and they have the Sunday night game as part of their main slate for whatever reason. But we have a 10 game DraftKings slate and we have an 11 game FanDuel main slate. We're going to cover them. We're going to look at the games as well. So looking at the Vegas odds right now using Outlier. We've got San Francisco versus Tampa Bay, 50 and a half over under with San Francisco being a six and a half point favorite. This is one that I want to watch. Obviously, we have McCaffrey back. 
Minnesota at Jacksonville. We have Minnesota being a six and a half point favorite. Jacksonville's defense is very, very bad. If you have not checked out our stacks article after this video, make sure you check it out. We like some stacks in this game. It's got a 43 and a half over under, so it's a little bit lower. Pittsburgh versus Washington. Obviously, this could be a great matchup. Washington 7-2 for the first time in years. They're a 2.5-point favorite right now with a 45.5 over-under. Falcons at New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans 2-7. and seven. Falcons 6-3. Six and three. Falcons a 3.5-point favorite, 46.5 over-under. We've got New England versus the Bears. We've got the Bears a 6-point favorite with 38.5 over-under. So a very low over-under. I could see like a Chicago defense being preferable on this one. Bills at the Colts. Colts are four and five. They're not very good. The Bills are only a four-point favorite, though, which is wild. 46 and a half over under. Denver at Kansas City. Kansas City is the only undefeated team. They're seven and a half point favorites here. They've only covered that two of the last ten times. So I could see this being a close game. Maybe Kansas City wins by le- like you know seven or less than seven and a half. Um, 41 and a half over under is the current line. Tennessee at the uh, the Chargers now. Tennessee is starting Will Levis again. Um, they're still a 7.5 point underdog. 38.5 uh, over under is pretty low. Then you got the Jets versus the Cardinals. 3-6 and six and 5-4. and four. Jets are 1.5 point favorite. 46.5 over under. Love me a Jets stack. Check out the video if you want to see it. Philly at the Cowboys. Cowboys are starting. We don't know who the quarterback is yet. Should be Trey Lance. We'll see. Dak Prescott going to be out for the year. Um, we've got Philly's a 7.5 point favorite. Dallas's defense has been bad. 43.5 over under. And if you are playing on FanDuel... Uh, a main slate. We can still play the Sunday night game, which I have broken it down. Detroit seven and one versus Houston. Detroit is a three, only three and a half point favorite, 49 and a half over under. So if you want to check all of those out, you can actually click into the games. You can see all the prop bets that are good for those games. I highly suggest checking those out. Now, before we get started, FTA plus $10 for a week, gets you an entire week of every single sport, $30 for a month, $200 for a year. But we have a couple of coupon codes left. If you use the coupon code NBA is back, all one word, all capital letters, NBA is back for the yearly pass. Instead of $199, you can get it for $74.99. I think there are two or three coupon codes left. First come, first serve. If you try to do it and the coupon code says it's invalid, that means the last three have been used and we cannot use them again. So if you have been on the fence about it, highly suggest checking it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the matchup tool each position and if you don't know what it is it's completely free it's a free tool on the site but we have the defenses how they rank against each position so what i do since we're building on DraftKings, or we're using it anyway we're going to rank it down here we're going to see the defenses as you can see the worst defense against the quarterback is the jaguars they give up an average of 24.5 that's the minnesota vikings so we're going to use this i'm going to put it on this screen So you guys can't see it, but I will be looking at it and we will build off of that. So if you want to see it, the link for the matchup tool will be down below as well. So we're going to go here. We're going to look at this. I like to do the old Saber Sim, but this is the new one. So we're going to use the new one here. And you can see you can look at the games. You can filter them out. So looking, we're going to go position by position. We're going to update the projections a little bit. Um, We can update the max exposure. So what I like to do is so you if you're using the uh, pro package from them you can build 5,000 lineups and then you can sort them and you can make a lot of different adjustments but that sometimes doesn't give you all the things that you want to look at so max exposure for me I want 25% meaning it's only going to use 25% I want it to get a plethora of different lineups to build out there while we're building lineups here too so that's my first one I'm making that adjustment but we are looking at quarterbacks As of right now, Sam Darnold against the Jacksonville Jaguars has the best matchup. Not by a ton. Brock Purdy's right behind him. Uh, Jacksonville gives up 24.5 on DraftKings, where Tampa Bay gives up 24.4, which would be Brock Purdy. Um, And then the Ravens gave up 23.1. Carolina Panthers 22.3, which would be Daniel Jones. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to look for Sam Darnold. We're going to have him here. We're going to put him at 22. I want to get exposure to that. Brock Purdy, we're going to put him at 21.5 because he's got the second best matchup here. This one's a little bit different. Actually, we can't play this one. The Giants are a different a different time. So we cannot play there, but we'll keep going. Do you want to take these and color on your book with these? I don't even know why these are down here. Hey, I love you. What? Did you eat your mac and cheese? I throw it away. 
Oh, okay. So I just filmed about 20 more minutes of everything. I went through all of the positions, why we liked them, and I realized it was paused. So I'm going to go through and show you what I've already done because I really, at the moment, do not know where it cut off at, and I'm not happy, okay? But I am going to add a boost to Aaron Rodgers. Quarterbacks that I want nothing to do with. I don't know if this went through, but I want nothing to do with these three. I will take pretty much everybody else. Gone through the running backs here. We bumped everybody up that we want to. Um, we looked down here at Jordan Mason because, again, I don't know if CMC has got 100%. I don't know if he's going to be in there. Um, he's going to play, but we don't know if it's going to be kind of like a decoy. Um, so I'm going to bump up Jordan Mason. I'm going to let the algorithm do itself uh, for CMC there. Um, looking at wide receivers. Going through here, I love Justin Jefferson and a matchup against Jacksonville. You can check out our matchup tool for it. Absolutely love that. I love a jet stack with Garrett Wilson and Devontae Adams, so I want that there. Um, I don't trust CeeDee Lamb because I don't know what uh, Cooper Rush is going to do with him. Um, and I think Cooper Rush 100% is going to start, but we'll see. Brian Thomas is questionable, but I want him in there. Terry McLaren did let us down last week. He was the only one to lose my $87 free bet parlay. Um $87 to win like 300 it's fine. I, I didn't want to win it anyway. I bet he comes back this week. You got DeAndre Hopkins, who no one was on last week in the matchup showdown, and he came through for us there as well. Uh, Amari Cooper's questionable, but again, I think Mac Hollins. I want to get a little bit of Mac Hollins in there because he's 3,300, and he's in a great matchup with the Bills if we use them as a stack. So those are the ones that I bumped up. Um, scared about the, the Dallas game a little bit. Tight ends, George Kittle's my number one. Kelsey looks like he's back. Kate Otten, there's not a ton of people to throw to, so I bumped him up there. Trey McBride is there, Evan Ingram. I like Jake Ferguson because I think possibly if Cooper Rush is the starter, if he can get downfield to CD and the run game has been as bad as it has been, he's going to dump off passes to Jake Ferguson, and it could spell fantasy points there. I do love Dalton Kincaid with a Bills stack. And I do love Taysom Hill because he's tight end. He's a tight end, but he also passes the ball so he could have a passing touchdown. He acts as a wide receiver, and he acts as a running back in the wildcat formation. 
he could get you touchdowns there. Again, it's a it's a risky business there, but it's in a good spot there. Then we move to the defenses. We look down. I don't want the Bucks, Cowboys, Colts, Broncos, or Titans, or Jaguars. I'll take the Jets because they're 2,900 and the defense normally has been pretty good. And we have seen games with Kyler getting shut down this year. And I think that could happen again here. The Vikings getting Mac Jones, I think I like a little bit. So I think I'm going to put them up at 8. 49ers against Tampa Bay, I'm not 100% on. The Bears against New England, I do like that. I will bump them up to 9. So then what we do is we build the lineups. So you can look at team stacks. So if there are certain teams you want to stack, I'm completely okay with that. So if we look at the over-unders, and there's maybe say there's five. So let's run this first. So I'm going to pause this while this runs, and we'll see the lineups that come out. And then if we want to go through and we want to update the stacks, the games with the highest over-unders, we will do that there. So I'm going to pause this while this runs. It might take 10 minutes. I don't know. It depends. It's going to run 5,000 lineups. So we will see how quick it does. And it'll be maybe 5, 10 minutes for me, but it'll be 2 seconds for you. All right. So it has made a couple of them. We haven't. I haven't pushed anything to do any stacks or anything like that. So I kind of wanted to see what it would show. So what it's got as the first one, Sam Darnold and Aaron Jones. So those together. It's got Devontae Adams, Taysom Hill. It has Josh Downs and Jonathan Taylor in those two matchups. Then it's got the Bears defense with George Kittle. So I don't mind this lineup whatsoever. Like this is a pretty good lineup. And you can look, you can see unique rank. You can see the different like large slate tent. Like you can see the different scores, um, just whatever you want to do. So if you're doing like small slate, 10 to 50K, large slate, 10 to 50K, whatever you're doing, you can sort it by salary, ownership, projected scores, whatever you want. So that's the first one that popped up. Next one's got Sam Darnold. Um, does naked there doesn't have him throwing it to anybody it's got Mac Hollins which is a cheap option Khalil Shakir as well loves the Bears defense so now what we do is we look at projections players and then the quarterback so the initial run had us using Sam Darnold Purdy Mahomes Aaron Rodgers Baker Mayfield Caleb Williams and Justin Herbert running backs it had 10 um, Taylor so it didn't have Barkley so it didn't have Hurts didn't have Barkley um, Taylor, Kamara, Hall, Bijan, Jones, Swift, uh, Connor, Kareem Hunt, Najee, and Austin Eckler because uh, Eckler is going to be the running back one in RB1 in this game. Had Justin Jefferson, had Devontae Adams, Garrett Wilson, had the top ones that we liked. Again, for whatever reason, was not liking the Philly offense at all. Tight ends, Kittle, Otten, Kincaid, Taysom Hill. And then defenses had the Bears and who else? The Bears and the Saints. Not sure I like that. I'm going to take the Saints out. And this is where we are going to look at the Vegas odds. And we're going to look at the, the highest over-unders, current ones. So the highest over-unders as of the making of this video. Tampa Bay at San Francisco, 50 and a half. The Rams, at, okay, we can't use them. Texans, Detroit, that's Sunday night game. Falcons, Saints, 46 and a half. Okay, so that is where we go to team stacks. And I want Philly. At least I want Philly here. So I'm going to bump them up to minimum exposure of 25%. Let's do, let's do 20% because let's get some teams in there. So I like, I love Philly. I'm going to put in San Francisco. Where's San Francisco? Okay. 20%. Saints, Falcons. The Falcons being a three. I'm going to put Atlanta. I want Atlanta in here at 20%. So that's 60%, correct? Yep, three. Uh, Colts, Bills. I want the Bills. So I want Buffalo at 20%. And then that's 80. And then last one, I really want the Jets. So this is what I'm looking at. So I've got the Jets here at 20%. I'm going to apply, oops, I'm going to apply that, and then it's going to bring us other lineups. Unable to meet exposure lineup, cannot meet your requested exposures. Keep editing. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and see what I can do, and I'll be right back once I get this figured out. Okay, what I've done is I want a stack of a QB plus two. So I've gone through the team stacks, and that wasn't working, so I went QB plus two, 100%, and it has changed, oops, it has changed our lineups here. 
So it still has Sam Darnold at the top, throwing it to Aaron Jones and Justin Jefferson, which I love Justin Jefferson this week. It's got Aaron Jones. It's got Austin Eckler with Aaron Jones. It then has Matt Collins, which is a cheap option that I think could be a sneaky pick at 3,300. It's a very boomer bust. I understand that he's not number one. It's got Josh Downs. It's got Jefferson. It's got Taysom Hill, who again, tight end, running back, wide receiver. It's got George Kittle, which I absolutely love George Kittle this week. And then it's got the Bears defense. So I love this lineup. This is a fantastic first lineup for the main slate. The next one, I love this one. It's a Jets stack. So it's got Aaron Rodgers throwing to Brees Hall and Devontae Adams. It has Eckler still. Matt Collins is a cheap option. Josh Downs is there as well. Kittle, K. Dotton, and the Bears defense as well. I love this matchup. It is a Jets stack for sure, and I I, I think that could be a, a good one as well. We got another one, Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy throwing to Juwan Jennings and George Kittle. We've left both running backs out of there because I don't know the situation for there. DeAndre Swift and Jonathan Taylor, both in good matchups here. It loves Josh Downs and Matt Collins. It's got Travis Kelsey as well as Kittle, and it's got the Bears defense. As you can see, it absolutely loves the Bears defense this week. Purdy again, Darnold again. So if we go back to projections, we go to players, we look at quarterbacks. This is where, okay, so it does have, it's got Jalen Hurts now. So this is a Jalen Hurts lineup that I'm going to look at. It's got Jalen Hurts with Javante Williams and Barkley, which I love. Lil Jordan Humphrey, because there's not a ton of options to throw to except Cortland Sutton there and Vell. It's got Josh Downs, Hunter Henry, A.J. Brown, and the Bears defense as well. So that is the, oh, no, the top one. Okay, we were down below. Jalen Hurts. Josh Downs, Matt Collins, A.J. Brown, Hunter Henry, Dallas Goddard is back, and the Bears defense there. So it, it does like Jalen Hurts twice for those two lineups which I don't mind. I don't mind those at all. One we haven't looked at is Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. It depends on which way it's going to go. It's got Patrick Mahomes throwing it to DeAndre Hopkins, also throwing it to Travis Kelsey, which I love. Um, Jonathan Taylor's in a good matchup. James Conner's matchup's not the best. So if we look at James Conner against the Jets, we've got running back situation. We've got the New York Jets where New York Jets rank 10th. They only give up an average of 21.5. So that's not bad. Again, I mean, so many, there's only so many options you can do here. You got Kelsey, KDOT, and Matt Collins as well. So I love this Kansas City matchup as well. So these are a few of the lineups that you guys can build on DraftKings. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to do this for everybody who is on FanDuel and give you guys the options as well. So I'll be right back in a jiffy. Okay, so for FanDuel, it's got Aaron Rodgers. So the number one that it likes is Aaron Rodgers throwing it to Devontae Adams and Brees Hall. And then comes back with De uh, DeAndre Swift, Aaron Jones, who's in a fantastic matchup. Calvin Ridley, who we have not talked about today, but in a great matchup as well. Evan Ingram against Minnesota. And then Washington Commanders defense there. So it's really like an Aaron Rodgers. So that is what I'm telling you. So number one, it's got Aaron Rodgers, and that is it. So 5,000 lineups, and it only likes Aaron Rodgers. So that is where we have to come in. We go to max exposure, 25%. Save it. Apply. And then it's going to apply the changes there. So now it's gone from 1 to 5. So now Dar Darnold, Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes... Does Justin Herbert as well. So looking at Darnold and seeing the stack that it really likes for Darnold. It's got Darnold throwing it to Aaron Jones. Um, and that's it for that stack. It's got the commander's defense as well. Brees Hall, Evan Ingram, Khalil Shakir, George Pickens, Noah Brown, DeAndre Swift, and again, Aaron Jones. So I'm going to update this. I'm going to pause this and do a little. So going through here and kind of looking at games or stack exposure. QB plus uh, two is what I'm really looking at here. So I want 100% going to apply that. It should give us a boost to the player pool here with the quarterbacks. And so then when you do that, it's got Darnold Jones and Justin Jefferson. It's got the Titans defense, which I'm okay with in a GPP. Hunter Henry, so on and so forth for Sam Darnold. But I want it to know that I want Jalen Hurts. So game stack wise, I want a minimum 
of 25%. Apply that, go to players, and hopefully it'll put it. So let me pause this and see what's going on, and then I'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> so after messing with everything, it's got Patrick Mahomes throwing it to Travis Kelsey. Also DeAndre Hopkins, which I don't mind this at all. It's got Aaron Jones and Kamara as the two top running backs there. Shakir and Ridley, DeAndre Swift, and the Colts defense, which maybe is just a punt, but that's okay because it could happen. Next one, it has Aaron Rodgers throwing to Devontae Adams, Brees Hall, Cowboys defense, which scares me a little bit. I'm probably off of them. Let me update that. So I'm going to go off of the defense. Go down here to the bottom. I don't want the Bucks. I don't want the Cowboys. I don't trust the Texans defense. I don't want the Cardinals defense. And we'll apply that and then we'll see if it updates the lineup to what we're looking for. So the final lineup, Aaron Rodgers throwing it to Devontae Adams, which I like, Brees Hall as well. Dallas defense, like I said, that scares me. Um, I've updated this a little bit. Um, we've got Javante Williams, which I'm okay with against Kansas City's defense. Shakir, Josh Downs, Kincaid is there as well. Um, if we go to the very top, yeah, it loves, it still loves Patrick Mahomes here more on FanDuel than it did on DraftKings. So that's what I've got in this video. Any questions, comments, concerns, get those down below. We'll try to answer them. Tell me some of the favorite things you guys like in this main slate. Make sure you check out all the videos that we're about to post here at the end. It's going to have the stacks video. It's going to have the rankings video as well. And maybe by the time you watch this, the Sunday Night Football Showdown video will already be live to the masses. So good luck this week. And as always, let's bring them some bacon. Peace.